Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Mary sat quietly in her room, lost in thought. She had been pondering her future, and the thought of marrying Joseph filled her with both excitement and fear. As she sat there, she suddenly heard a knock on her door. Come in, she called out, expecting to see her mother or one of her siblings. But instead, it was a man she had never seen before. He had a kind face and an otherworldly aura about him, which left Mary feeling both curious and uneasy. Who are you? she asked, eyeing him warily. I am Gabriel, the man replied. I have been sent by God to bring you some news. Mary's eyes widened in surprise. News from God? She had never imagined such a thing could happen to her. What news? she asked, unable to hide her curiosity. God has chosen you to be the mother of his son, Gabriel said, his voice filled with reverence. You will give birth to a child who will be called Jesus, and he will be the savior of the world. Mary was speechless. She couldn't believe what she was hearing. How could she, an ordinary girl from Nazareth, be chosen for such a miraculous task? Mary was stunned. She knew what this meant, but how was it possible? She asked the angel, how will this be, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Gabriel explained. This is how the child will be conceived, and he will be holy and called the Son of God. Mary's heart was pounding in her chest. She had never felt so overwhelmed or humbled in her entire life. The thought of carrying God's own son inside her was both terrifying and exhilarating. Mary replied to the angel, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And with those words, Mary's life was forever changed. She had been chosen for a special purpose, one that would bring salvation to the world. It was a daunting task, but she was ready to accept it with all her heart.